Hey guys, Mitch from GDM. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through workout two, which is a strength and stability workout, emphasis on the lower body. We've got seven exercises, should take roughly 20, 25 minutes. Let's go. All right guys, so let's get your body mobilized first of all. We've got two exercises, a Cossack squat and a good morning. I'm going to demonstrate each and you can join me for the reps after. First one, the Cossack squat, more hip mobility. Go for a nice wide start, toes facing out. Make sure the knee is tracking line with the toes as we move across the body. So as we squat down, all the emphasis on that left leg there. I've got a nice stretch on my inner thigh on the right side. Deep breath in, repeat on the other side. You need to move the feet at any point to readjust. Make sure that you're staying stable throughout. And do so. And the second one is good morning. So, pop the little broomstick, whatever you need. Put it on your back, on the fleshy part of the back where the traps are. And from that position, Make sure we're locking in, squeezing the scapula, feet shoulders apart, and we're going to hinge from the hip, stretching that posterior chain, have things mobilised, throw it back up, proceed from the side view, we tilt the toes forwards, engage the core, go forwards, take the hamstrings, go up to the side, squeeze the back. Okay, so let's do it. Alright, let's go. Take about 30 second rest. Let your cardiovascular system recover slightly. Just to re-emphasize, make sure when you go through each movement, you focus on either hip mobility or waking up that posterior chain for that second movement, which is obviously the good morning. So reaching the end of that rest period. Start to get back into it. Nice wide starts again. Second set tennis. Straight back in, so you from the front angle this time. Make sure we're trying to keep the chin down into the chest, so that pelvis forwards. You should feel a nice stretch in the hamstring, guys. Knees slightly off lock. Pushing that bum behind you, imagine there's a wall behind you. Running your bum to touch that wall. Driving the hips forward, squeezing the butt. 10 reps. Cool, should be nice and mobile now. Alright, right. now that we've mobilised, it's time to get into the main activity. Our first exercise is a five second eccentric squat, and that's just a fancy way of saying controlling the movement on the way down. It's got a negative phase of the movement. So, with a normal squat, we've got our feet shoulder width apart, we're stabilising the core at all time. Every exercise we do, transferring the core. Imagine something going to punch you in the tummy, and you've done a long series, so you're just growing in those abs. From there, that similar pelvic tilt you had at the beginning, and we've done a few mornings. I'm going to drive the hips back. It's important that we leave with those hips and really track it. Let me show you from the side profile. You've got triple flexion, hips, knees, and ankles. Drive the hips first. Make sure the knees don't go too far away into the toes. Hands in front. Try and stop roughly where you can leave the leg your ankles. Then drive back. Now we're going to count five seconds on this one. Four, three, two, one. Slow up. And two. And drive back. Three reps, we're going to ten. Right, let's sit forward, squeeze your butt. Make sure the weight stands is on the heels here. Going up, breathing out. And we strip with the time. Four, three, two, one. And again, let's go. If you're beating me on the way down, you're not going slow enough. Control that movement. Right, let's hit back, sit on the heels. Important to say as well, make sure those knees are tracking out, align with the toes. Don't let them cave in. You're almost there, don't stop. 
Let's go. Drive back. Hold. Drive up. Last rep. Push back. Over the heels. Good. Now face me. Go straight into a split squat now. Feet staggered. Make sure you've got shoulder width apart, otherwise you're going to feel like you're walking on the tight rope. Drop that back knee down. Come down. All the way on that front leg. Off for three, two, one. Back up. And again. Same rep range on this one, guys. Same reps. Hold the three of the bottom. Should be burning that front leg now. Drive up. Do that chest up, shoulder raise back. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Drive up. Doing really well. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good. A nice burn in. Don't stop. Don't stop. Two, one. Drive. We're almost there. Keep moving. Good. Come on. You've got this. You've got this. That's it. Drive up. Last two. One more time. One more time. I think I went a little bit faster on that one. Let's hold it a little bit longer to make up. And drive. Change straight to the other side. Make sure you've got that wide stance. Chest up. All about that stability. Engaging that core. Two. One. Drive up. And again. As by your side. Imagine you're holding your dumbbells or whatever you've got. And drive down. Two. One. Three. Keep the pin. Hold, breathe out, do no guys, don't stop. Keep moving, two, one, good. And I have I feel it too. Don't stop there, two, one, drive up. That left leg should be shaking at the bottom. Three, two, one, almost there. Keep going, three, two, one. Finish your set now, finish your set. Finish guys, right there. Last one, here we go. Three, Two, one, and relax, well done. Okay guys, second set. Gonna go straight into this one, gonna give you the front profile. So drive those hips back. Four, three, two, hold. And drive up. Now you're burning from that first set already, but we're gonna go straight into this. Hold, drive up. Good. Let's be honest for those reps. Four, three, two, one, and drive. Good. Again, push those hips back over the heels, knees up, lower the toes, and drive. Keep breathing, guys. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Make sure that core's engaged throughout. Good news is we're past that halfway point. Your four reps to go. Don't stop. Keep driving, keep driving. Be honest with those reps. I know a few of you are rushing, I can feel it. Four, three, two, one. If you're beating me down, you need to be honest with yourself. You're only cheating yourself. Let's hold it, let's hold it, let's hold it, let's work. And drive up. Last rep, let's go. Four, three, better, two, one, good, straight into that split starts now. Ready? Are you ready? Let's go. And drive, good. Three seconds at the bottom first, same as the first set. Stabilize, and drive, good. And down, and drive. Feel well, keep breathing. Know that right leg's shaking, or left, or one to go in front, it doesn't matter. Hold. Again, pass up halfway point. Doing well. Keep going, guys. And drive. All the way down. Yeah, last two. You got this. And drive. Last one. Three, two, one. Shake it off. We're going to strengthen to the other side. Four, three. Come on. Get it done. Down. Hold. Three, two, one. Count me. That's one. Three. Two, one, two, three, two, one, that's three, three, two, one, that's four, three, two, one, we're halfway baby, three, two, one, there we go, three, two, one, three, two, one, last two, three, two, one, three, two, one, well done, shake it off.
third and final set. Get yourself back into that space, headspace. We're gonna get this done. I need a little bit more for me this time. We're gonna go for 12 reps. No, 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 don't moan. 12 reps, be different, challenge yourself, okay? Same again, set those feet up, hips back, do this. Drive up, good. There we go, you're in it now, you're in it. Don't moan, just get it done. Control that movement on the way back. Good, be consistent with your reps, make sure the technique's consistent throughout. We're counting, four, three, two, one. Drive up, good. All right, now we're halfway. Now we're halfway, that's six, but six more. Hips back, push those knees out, hold it. Drive up, squeeze your butt. Good, make sure you're drawing that breath in. We're not charging for oxygen. Hold it in, deep breath. Good, almost there now. Hold that, hold that. Good, don't rush these reps. These are the, these are the important ones. Separate yourself from the rest. Be the hardest worker in the room. Last one, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Drive up, good, right. Give yourself 10 seconds. I know that one is challenging. You know, straight to that split stance, okay? Let's be consistent with the lead and length. Go with the right leg, that three second hold, and you guess what? We're doing another set, 12. Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Drive up fast, control, hold, two, one. That's two, down, two, one. Good, you've got me breathing heavy, so I know you are. Three, two, one, good. Down, three, two, one, there we go. Down, three, two, one. All right, that's five reps. Down, three, two, one. We're halfway, don't stop. I know that's burning, I know it's burning. Drive up, let's keep moving now. Let's get to that finish line, it's right there. It's right there, keep driving. Down, three, two, one. Be honest with these reps now, come on. Three, two, one. All right, down, two more. Three, two, one. Last one, last one, you got this, come on. Three, two, one, good. Take another 10 seconds. Okay, deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just change that knee and leg, Just plant those feet. We're going three, two, one, you got this, come on. Down, three, two, one. Almost there now. Three, two, one, good. Three, two, one. Is it burning here? I know it is. Three, two, one. That's four. Three, two, one. That's five. Three, two, one. We're halfway, we're halfway. Let's go. Three, two, one. There we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Three, two, one. Last three. Three, two, one. Two to go. Three, two, one. One, all right, last one, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom, you did it, well done. Guys, well done in completing that lower body section of the, the exercise routine. Now we're gonna move into your core. So the Miguel Big Three focuses on every area of the abdominal wall. So we're gonna focus on the rectus abdominals, that's the interior surface, internal and external obliques, that's the side of the lateral portion, and the posterior chain and the spinal directors as well. So the first thing we're gonna take you through is the side plank. I'm going to show you the beginner's version of it, if you will, and then we'll move into more of the intermediate version from there. You can decide which one's appropriate for yourself. So, what we need to do, if you've got a mat perfect, because it gives you a little line to follow, we can put our ankles, hips, and elbow along that back line. And from there, all we do is we simply raise the hips up, and we engage the obliques that will be the side closest to the floor. This will be the beginner's version. If you feel like you've got it in the tank, then straighten out the legs, ankles, knees and hips all stacked. And that elbow follows that line, the back of the mat. We're gonna raise it up and we're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, okay? So get yourself sorted, make sure you're in position. I'm gonna go three, two, one, up, and hold it for 30 seconds. Now, at this point, if you hold onto the obliques, you can feel that contraction. Make sure the core's tight, and about the cord into the spine, and elevate the hips as high as you can, Towards the ceiling. Doing really well. We're approaching the halfway point now. Focus on your breathing, make sure that's consistent. For 10 seconds now. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. 
leave in the room, and we do the same on the other side. So choose your variation, intermediate or advanced, at about three, two, one. Again, hold into that oblique. Make sure you've got that mind muscle connection. You've got a strong contraction. That side closest to the floor. Now it's time to regulate your breathing. Make sure the nose up through the mouth. Try and make sure you're more breathing through your ribcage so that's expanding and then compressing as you breathe out. Okay, we're approaching it. Three, two, one, and relax. All right guys, now we're gonna look at the bird dog. I didn't call it that, that's just the name of it, all right? So what we're gonna do, come down into all fours, we're gonna brush in, so the opposite arm to leg, we're gonna extend out and then we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Now from this point, you're gonna raise the arm as high as you can, the leg as high as you can, so the glutes are under contraction, lower back's under contraction, the shoulders up there, so you're getting loads of core stability. Three, two, one. We come back up, second set, and hold again for 10. Contract that glute, lower back, shoulder, reach out, high as you can. Three, two, one, final one. Reach, contract, leg nice and high, contract that shoulder. Four, three, two, one. We're going to straighten to the other side now. Bring it in. Reach up. Nothing changes now. Leg nice and high. Contract that glute. Reach up with the arm. Shoulder, lower back and glute. All contracted. Three, two, one. Reach in. Brush the mat. Straight back up. Reach up. Nice and long. Contract everything as hard as you can. You're going to get out of this exercise what you put in. So really reach out now. Three, two, one. Brush the mat. Last one. Hold it, contract now, a little bit higher. Reach, reach, reach. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay guys, for this next movement, we've got the McGill sit up or crunch. You're gonna need something like this. This is an abdominal pad. If you don't have one, the towel will do. This is just to support the natural curve of your lumbar spine or the lower back. So pop that just behind the butt. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie back. And you can see a boss set. My stabilization by having one leg straight, one leg bent. So as I crunch up, the obliques are going to work a little bit just to stabilize my pelvis. So from there, feet are from the temples, open up, expand, and crunch up. Hold for three, two, one, and come back. We'll sit your reps here. Three, two, one, open up that ribcage. Try to bring that ribs right down towards the hips now. Contract, contract, contract. Open up, two more reps. Three, two, one. Try and keep the chin down into the chest as we crunch into this last one. Two, one. As you relax out, let's swap those legs. Deep breath in and continue. It's rep number seven. Twelve total reps. Now the opposite side of my knees is working a little bit harder just to stabilize the pelvis. We're halfway through the second section. Three reps to go. Deep breath in, open up. Let's out. Last rep, squeeze in, contract, 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 and then we're back. Set number one done. Let's get into it. Elevate. Move. You've got a nice consistency with that movement. Nothing changes from the first set. Let's replicate all the methods we used in the first one. So, hips nice and high. Let's get the rest. That cool stuff. Hips as high as you can now. Don't let them drop up in the fry. And gravity wants to pull you down. You're using all your strength on your core to keep yourself up. And if you're struggling, you can press the first one. Straight to the other side. Now you want to rest. We don't rest. Let's go. Okay. Good. Nice and high. 
little taps on the side there, my muscle connection. So I recommend that shoulder grip. Yeah, maybe like 10 seconds left. Now that's a good thing. Three, two, one. Alright guys, let's get to the second set, my absolute favourite. Let's play a dog. Brush in. Extend out. Reach. Look nice and high. Contract now. Everything engaged. Hold it. A little bit higher. Stretch out. Three, two, one. Brush in. And reach out. Imagine someone's got a rope on your wrist and your ankle, pulling them apart. And up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're about to feel everything contracting. Glute, lower back and shoulder. Three, two, one. Brush in. Final one. Reach up now. Almost lost my balance. Hold that. Five, four, three, two, one. Restabilize. And we're going to the opposite side. Brush in. Extend out. Hold it, contract, really stretch out now. Five, four, three, two, one, brush in, extend out, reach, hold it now. Remember that rope from the wrist and the ankle, stretch out, reach up, three, two, one, brush in, last time, open out, hold it now, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, reach, four, Three, two, one. Okay. All right, guys. Straight into this second set. Let's open out. Contract up. Three, two, one. That's one. Up again. Three, two, one. Stay with my tempo now, guys. If you're coming down before me, you need to hold it a little bit longer. Let the abdominals work. This is the fourth rep. We've got two more after this. Up. Three, two, one. Last rep, move there. Two, two, one. Extend up, switch up those legs. Straight back in. Three, two, one. Should be bad when you're going up. You're really getting that mind muscle connection with the truck in the abdominal. Three, two, one. Open up. Last two. Three, two, one. Last rep. Three, two, one. Yeah, get the second two done. All well done. Third and final set. Three, two, one. Good job. Make sure the ankles and knees and hips are stacked. The last one is probably going to feel a little bit more fatigued than the other sets. Be really consistent now. Right through. That mental effect is much longer now. Looks nice in there. So, we're almost there. Elevate those hips. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Three, two, one, let's go. Last set of this one. Okay. Hips as high as you can, really focus on the side of the abdominal wall now. Contract in. To get to this point, don't be like the halfway ready. 15 seconds to go. Nice and strong. That's what me time doing about investing in yourself. Alright. Alright, third and final set. Down to the floors. Back into the third one. In the gym. Stretch out. Hold it now. Don't let yourself down now because it's the third and final one. Give it everything. As I said before, you get out and put in. Three, two, one. Reach in. Extend out. High as you can, long as you can. You're going to feel that glute contracting if you do it properly. You're going to feel that lower back. You're going to feel that shoulder. Two, one. Brush in. Reach up. Last one. Really stretch it out now. Long as you can. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Come back, re stabilize. Bring it in. Opposite side now. Really stretch out. Hold that. Contract everything as hard as you can. Reach up. Three, two, one. Push the mat. Straight back out. Hold, extend. High as you can with that arm. High as you can with that leg. Three, two, one. Last one, guys. Give everything that. Really reach up. Stretch. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. You did it. Well done. All right, guys. Third and final set. Let's get this done. You know what you're doing now. Let's open up that rib cage. Check up. Three, two, one. Open up. Deep breath in. Exhale. Three, two, one. And again. Three. Two, one, go halfway through this level already. Three, two, one, open up. Three, two, one, last one. Three, two, one, pick up those legs, straight back in. Three, two, one, and again. Three, two, one, go to breath. Three, two, one, burn it up, let's go. Three, two, one, last two. Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. Ah, done. Guys, thank you so much for joining us here at GDM. I hope you enjoyed that workout. What we've got to do now though, because we've shortened all the muscles up by exercising, that's what we do. And now we've got to lengthen those back out just to make sure that you're not too sore tomorrow and we avoid injury. So the first exercise we're going to do is for the glutes, is a pitching stretch. So what we need to do is go down to the floor, cross one leg in front, Hold on to that ankle as you can with the free arm and bring your body down as much as you can and then cross over. Hold that stretch for 15 seconds. And you can feel that ease off when it's bringing your body closer and closer to the floor. If you are finding that stretch a little bit too much, then just elevate and ease off that stretch a little bit. And if you are competent enough, flexible enough, then you can increase that stretch and bring yourself right down. After you've held that for 15 seconds, I'm going to switch, hold, trap that ankle, and the peel on the other side. You get a 15 second hold on this one as well, and find that point where that stretch is about enough for you, don't go beyond that point. We'll move straight from there into a cobra stretch. So from here, we we'll drop the hips down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, elevate the chin. So we're lengthening out the um, abdominal wall now, erect the abdominals. So we can move the chest over to one side, hit more of the obliques, and send the other side. So you can see I'm just pushing that shoulder forwards. Then we're going to repeat, exhale, elevate the forward. So on the other side. We're going to transition straight from here with our knees out of 10 to 2. Imagine that your knees are the, the arms of the clock. 10 to 2. Then collapse the feet out to the side. Reach forwards, drop the hips down. Try and get the butt as close towards the heels as you can. And then slowly wiggle those hands forwards. So we're stretching out the lats. You should feel a bit more of an emphasis in that posterior chain and the left arm. Okay guys, well done on completing that workout. Don't forget to tag us in a section of your workout there at GDM Fitness. And tomorrow you might be feeling a little bit sore, so we've got you covered. Ian's gonna be taking you guys through a mobility routine. We'll see you then.